Welcome back everyone to another tutorial video and in this video I'm not actually going to be playing Minecraft or showing a tutorial in Minecraft I'm going to be showing you how to install mods in Minecraft. Now I did make a video about a year ago explaining how to get mods in Minecraft but there is a way better and new way of installing them in 2021. So the Curse Forge launcher was released a few months ago and it has made modding Minecraft so much easier than it used to be. So in this video I'll be showing you how to install Forge and also Fabric mods. So the first thing you want to do to get your Curse Forge launcher which will make the installing process of mods so so much easier is just type in curse forge on google and click on the first one here and it'll bring you to the curse forge website you want to go up to get desktop and you'll be greeted with the download page so you want to download either for windows or mac depending on whichever one you're on i personally am on windows so i'm going to click download windows and um, it'll go into my downloads folder down here so we're going to click on our course curseforge installer.exe so once you click this, uh, it'll bring up the installer window and it'll just guide you through the process of installing the application. I already have it installed, so I can't do it again. Um, but it'll just basically give you like all the steps uh, in order to install the Curse Forge launcher. And it'll also give you an option to choose a location. So you can choose a different drive if you don't have any space on one drive. That's what I have to do. And um, so yeah, you can just go through all the steps yourself there. So once Curse Forge is installed, you can simply just like double click the application on your desktop or wherever it is. And it'll open up this, which is the launcher. So this is the best thing ever for someone who likes to mod Minecraft because it just makes the process so much simpler. It used to be a case of you'd have to go onto the CurseForge website and search in for the mod on the um, on the website itself and then download it from there. But now it's all built into the launcher. It's literally all here for you. It's so, so convenient. And there's also mod packs and everything. So you can search for mod packs up here if you want. You can search for like um, RL Craft, for example, or anything like that. So we just type in RL Craft and I see we got RL Craft here and a bunch of uh, other like RL Craft kind of similar ones. You can search for whatever one you want. Basically, you can search by popularity, category, uh, game version, all this stuff. It's very, very convenient. And if you want to make your own version, so if you want to have like individual mods, what you want to do is you want to do a create custom profile. I'm just going to call this example for the video's sake. And you can choose the Minecraft version that you wanted for. So I'm going to pick 1.16.5 here because there's not many mods for 1.17 at the moment. Um, and you can choose Forge or Fabric. So I'm going to go for Forge and we're going to go Create. And it'll just quickly make our Minecraft version here. And now we can click on this. As you can see, at the moment, we have zero installed mods, zero resource packs, and zero maps. So we can do add more content. If you click this button right here, you can go to add more content, and this will give you a list of all the mods on the CurseForge website. And you can search for any mod you want. So say you want to get just enough items for your mod pack, um, and you want to get like biomes of plenty or something, and you want to get, um, I don't know, a uh, craft tweaker or something like this and tinkers construct you can just click install over here and it'll automatically install the mod for you and it'll be update, uh, updated to the latest version as well so you can also there'll be an option here to update if it isn't the latest version so you can just click update and it'll just quickly you know uh bring it up to the latest version that it has so we can go back to our mod packs here and i can go to example and as you can see it is now it now has six installed mods so sometimes when you install a mod there is also library mods and it'll install the library mods that it requires for you as well so, for example, I think Tinker's Construct needs Mantle. So, what it did was it literally installed Tinker's Construct and it also installed Mantle for us. So we didn't have to go get an extra mod in the download page. It just installed the extra mod for us, which is so, so handy. So, yeah, now we have our mods and you can literally just, if you want, you can actually... um go to profile options here and you can change this so use system memory settings means it uses the um memory settings that are in your minecraft launcher but you can change this to whatever you want so you could give it 10 gigs you could give it 2 gigs it's totally up to you and um, and yeah, it's, it's super convenient. And if you want to downgrade to an older version of Forge, you can also do that. You can scroll up here to older versions, but um, there's not really much point doing that because I don't I don't know why you would do that or you can go to newer versions. But um, yeah, you can toggle between them. You can also change the name, all this stuff. It's really convenient. Um, and yeah, it's just so, so handy to have uh, it all just in one place because it used to be like super like messy and hard to organize your mods and stuff in Minecraft. But the, the launcher makes it so, so nice to do it. And um, and yeah, you can also duplicate profile, you can export profile, repair profile. If there's anything wrong with it, the reason like it won't launch or something, you can just click repair and it'll just quickly uh, uninstall and reinstall all the mods for you and keep your config and all that stuff. So yeah, it does, it just, it's just really easy to manage and it's just so, so easy to use. It's, I can't get over how great it is, to be honest, because I've been installing mods for like four years, five years, whatever, and there's always been issues, always been issues with crashes and uh, conflicts and stuff like this. So having this launcher just organize it for me is just, it's the best. It's honestly the best. 
So once you've done all this and you've decided, okay, this is perfect, I'm happy to go now, we can just click play and it'll literally just launch Minecraft with whatever mods you have loaded. And you can also toggle them off with this here so you can turn them, between, turn them between active and inactive. So we can turn off our craft weaker by doing this and we can turn off just enough items or anything like that. And we can also delete mods if we don't want them. So say we didn't want craft weaker, we can just delete it here and it's just gone. Just like that. And uh, yeah, you can also just go back into the thing and reinstall it if you want. Uh, just go to add more content and search it up again. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. And you can sort by um, all these categories here and you can sort by like which type of mod you want and all this kind of stuff. So it's, it's just really, really easy to use. It's super, super straightforward. Very user friendly. It's, it's great. So once you've actually clicked uh, play on whichever one you want, you can also click play from the ho the mod pa the mod packs home screen right here. You can click you can click play on any of these, and it'll bring up your Minecraft launcher, your regular Minecraft launcher, and it'll be loaded with whatever version you launched on. So it'll be called your profile here, um, and then it'll just say the version. So this one was Forge thirty six point one point zero, um, and yeah. Then you all, all you have to do is click play, and it'll launch your Minecraft version, and you'll have your mods loaded just like that. Now, there is also the question of, okay, so if you are doing this, how do you access your screenshots or whatever your .minecraft folder, basically? Now, I'll show you how to do this, right? Because this is a bit more complicated. So if we go into open folder here, this, this little icon right here, it'll open our file explorer. And in this, it basically shows our Minecraft prof or our uh, CurseForge profile. And we can go to, we can, if we can go up a level here, you can see all the listed profiles here. So it's basically in a tab or in a folder called instances. And this instances is in whichever mod, uh, whichever folder you choose to put it in, basically. So you can choose the folder when you're setting up your curse forward, you can choose whichever folder you want to put. Um, you want to put the install the installers in so you can choose wherever you want the profile the profiles to be so i just chose uh, dot modded so i already had this profile this this folder right here before i even um installed curseforge so i just chose this one because it's my modded folder and i don't mind it getting too messed up with modded stuff and like you know uh, cluttered and all that stuff so i chose this folder and what it did was it installed an instances folder inside of this folder and in that instances folder is all of these different profiles which are in our CurseForge launcher. So this is where you can see all your CurseForge launcher uh, profiles. And for example, we have the one called example down here. And in this would be all of our things. Now we haven't launched this yet, so there's no assets folder, there's no screenshots folder, none of that stuff. It's just uh, the basic mods that we've already installed. But if we go to one that I've already done before, like this one, for example, all the different Minecraft folders are here. So anything that you would find in your regular .minecraft folder will be in this one here as well. So you can check out your screenshots here. Uh, you can go to your list of mods here. So you can also install Optifine 2 into this, by the way. Optifine is not on the CurseForge website. I want to specify that Optifine is not on the CurseForge website. Optifine is its own company and they have their own website where you have to download the mod. You cannot download it from the CurseForge website. So you have to go to Optifine separately um, and download the mod there and then drag it into your mods folder here. And then you can use Optifine just like normal. So yeah, it's also config files, all that stuff that you can access just by going into your... Uh, so these all work as like individual .minecraft folders, basically is what I'm trying to say here. So you have to go into your instances tab and then you have a list of all these different folders that you can access. And that's basically how you can like configure all your files and stuff. And um, yeah, pretty straightforward. And now I'll also show you how to install Fabric uh, mods. So um, it works a little bit differently. You can also just do Fabric the old school way. So download the Fabric um, Fabric launcher or a fabric, fabric installer, and you can install Fabric that way. You can just kind of inject it into your Minecraft, into uh, whatever folder you want, and then use it that way. Or there's now an option for you to load Fabric in the CurseForge launcher, which is just perfect. So we can go to 1.16.5, I'm gonna call it Fabric Example. And uh, we'll just get the latest one here. Yep, and we'll do Create. So now this is making a Fabric profile. And now this version will only run Fabric mods uh, correctly, so the, the four drones won't work on this one. So if we go to our search mods here, as you can see, it's different. Uh, already it's a different lineup of mods because these ones are only Fabric compatible um, and the Forge ones wouldn't be uh, compatible with these at all. So you can do like better foliage, you can do like um, Fabric API. This is required actually for the basics. So if we go to mods here, uh, or we go back to our mods in our Fabric uh, example, the fabric fabric API is already installed. That's that's the one that you need. You can't toggle it on or off or delete it because you need the fabric one installed already. So um yeah, and then you can just go to as I said, you can go to your mods list and just kind of install whatever you want here. Any of these guys. So any fabric mods you want to get. There's one that I did a showcase on recently called the Origins mod, and this is a fabric mod. So you do need fabric for this to work. So we can do install here, 
and there we go. Uh, we can go back to our fabric example, and we can just click play. And you can also, as I said, you can just change the, the amount of RAM you have allocated and all this stuff as well, just by going into the profile options here, and you can just change this to like whatever you want. Six gigs is perfect, yeah. And then we can just go to our uh, Minecraft launcher, which it opens automatically for us, and then we can just click play when it says uh, we have the thing here, and then you understand this, yeah. And when we launch Minecraft, as you can see, the origin mod is loaded straight away. So we can just choose a random class here. It doesn't matter at all. And yeah, that is basically how you can install mods in Minecraft. And this will work for any mod on the Curse Forge website, uh, either Fabric or Forge. So just make sure whenever you're setting up your profile that you choose Fabric or Forge as your selection option um, so that you can use the compatible mods for each one. Because obviously Forge mods won't work with Fabric, and Fabric mods won't work with Forge. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you. If it was, please make sure to drop a like. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. That'd be very much appreciated. Also, turn on notifications so you're told whenever I go live or I upload a new video or anything like that. There's also a playlist down in the description with all the tutorials I've done before. So if you have uh, any interest in looking at those, please do check them out. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.